Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. But I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video, I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon. So you open that up and it'll take just a minute, especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab, and you just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For Engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check Advanced Graphics Mode Beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it to four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM. So around 3000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see you in just a sec. All right, so it's restarted and I just went ahead and maximized the screen real quick. Next, let's go to system apps and open up the Google Play Store. And just do a quick search here for Naruto. And there I'll see right here. This is called Ultimate Ninja Blazing. They're on their second year anniversary right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. And it'll take a minute to download. It's a small download compared to a lot of games though. Instead of hitting open here, I'm going to close the tab and show you it put the app on the home screen here. So I'll open that up real quick. And the game is running, but I won't bore you with uh, the initial configuration, getting it all set up. So we'll just come back here in a second and uh, I'll show you some gameplay. Alright, so we are now in game. And before I actually do any gameplay, this is a, a brand new account on this game. Um, I wanted to show you um, some of the summons, since you get some free summons because you get some of the free uh, in-game currency when you create a new account. So we'll do that real quick and uh, I'll stop talking, let you guys just watch and then we'll do some gameplay and I'll come back at the end of the video to make some closing remarks.
so there you have it. As you can see, this game actually runs really, really good with BlueStack Simulator pretty much flawlessly. Like, I didn't notice any kind of issues with it at all. So uh, that'll be it for this video. I hope you can get it set up and running on your computer as good as it's running on mine. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time.